Hello friends, YouTube and motorcycle enthusiasts. This is Accelerate out here trying to enjoy a beautiful day of riding. Uh, I'm out here playing, jumping some logs and working on some of my um, uh, slow speed technical stuff and wheelies, getting getting my slow speed wheelies better, and then which will ultimately help me with getting over logs with more grace and throttle control positioning and all the stuff that I need to do and learn. So what I have here hanging out in front of me is my Zack Speed uh, Recon S3 backpack with the Zack Speed chest protector. So uh, I know Zack Speed's kind of getting more popular. Um, I actually first heard about this uh, setup through um, uh, cross training, uh, enduro cross training, cross training um, YouTube channel. So those guys are awesome, the Aussies. Um, with quirky, awesome, excellent technical videos. So very cool. Um, so they were talking about it, and I was been looking for a backpack as I started riding more. Um, so I chose the Recon, which is the middle size. Um, this is going to just be a quick overview. I've got about, at this point, about 20 hours riding with the backpack, and uh, I absolutely love it. Um, I have some pros and some cons, so uh, I'll get right into the pros uh, first and foremost, which greatly outweigh the cons. First of all, number one is quality. Uh, does that, this thing is super well made. Um, you probably notice if you see one in person, the zippers that they're using, very good quality. Just the overall durability of the backpack. I've crashed pretty hard with this thing. It's hit the dirt. Um, it's hit rocks on my back and it's it's been completely very, very durable. So number one, quality. Quality different, definitely gets two thumbs up. Um, so the next thing is their adjustment. So they call it the figure eight design. Um, and the reason why they do that is because the backpack comes with its own straps and it can connect essentially to the chest piece, to a vest, they have a tool belt, um, and they have three different size packs. So I could literally buy the bigger pack, which would still work with the chest piece or the smaller pack, um, the small one being the Sprint, this is the middle size, and then the Dakar is the larger size. So uh, the middle size works perfect for me for day. Um, the pockets, I'm not going to go in. You guys, have there's tons of Rocky Mountain and all these guys do uh, reviews where they actually open up the bag and go through all that stuff. Um, I'm just really giving my opinion here. So the next is the hydration system, which is a huge plus. If you're going to have a backpack, you might as well have hydration. So three liters. Um, it is a very good quality um, hydration bladder. It's actually seamed in the middle so that the tube runs up. Um, and it's two separate compartments. So the main compartment is where the hydration bladder is, where you can still put other stuff in there. And then there's a second one. And then this guy, which is kind of like to hold a jacket. And then the other one. And then the two on the sides. Two on the sides are great for holding um, tools and, uh, you know, some short tire spoons or anything like that. I keep my um, tire plug kit, since I run tubeless tire and plug and patch for that matter on this side and then my um, beta OEM toolkit stays on this side and the rest of it I have tons of room to put whatever else I want in there so the backpack itself really really good quality um, as for the chest piece I actually bought this from Rocky Mountain because they sell it as one unit um, at a slightly discounted price so the chest piece is really good this is not CE rated um, but I'm here to tell you folks it's super hard. Um, it would easily take a branch or a rock to the to the chest or ribs and would not shatter it. The one thing I also like about this is Zack Speed supplies extra of these fasteners of the the black ones as well as the aluminum pieces that connect the um, the turnbuckles. So the chest piece is a huge plus for me. Um, I know the only other company that I've seen that makes a combo chest piece backpack design is Liat. They actually kind of got into the uh, into the market um, that Zack Speed was taken as well. So, uh, but overall, I haven't worn the Liat, but I am extremely um, happy with the Zack Speed. So, that's definitely a big plus. Great quality, um, very good design overall, and great fitment. Um, so the fitment of it, there's ton, tons and tons of adjustability. So fitment number two. 
So fitment is really huge with this thing. The, the straps are completely adjustable. As you can see right here, there's multiple links on the chest piece and the backpack opens up on this backside. Once the back plate's out of the way and then you have adjustments for the straps themselves. So this back plate protects you really nice. So you can just see the qualities, the quality overall is great. Fitment's great, quality's great. The design, the adjustability is really, really good. So, um, so I got two dislikes. They're not deal breakers. I'm very, very happy with the product. The first, um, uh, the first one will be, I'll say it's a bigger one. So for whatever reason, I don't understand why, but the only people that seem to offer any kind of shoulder protection is with full suits, um, your full upper bar, upper body uh, suits. A lot of the um, chest pieces or roost, protect, roost guards that we see don't have a lot of shoulder protection. So I know there are some that do, um, but they're kind of few and far between that actually offer shoulder protection. I wish Zach Speed would offer a modular um, protection with maybe a strap that went under your arm um, that would protect your shoulders. So I'm very, very cognizant of shoulder injuries. Um, for me, my protecting shoulder health is a really big deal. Go down on a rock the wrong way on, on your shoulder and uh, you can absolutely tear a rotator cuff or twist it or whatever or impact it to where, you know, you're, if you got a shoulder injury, you're out of the business for a while. So I wish they did um, shoulder protection. Um, Barry over at Cross Training Enduro, they, he actually added elbow pads to his um, to give him a little bit of shoulder protection, but uh, we'll see if I do that or not. So the second thing that I dislike about the Zach Speed is with the chest protector is the hydration piece so you see these loops here this is really designed for the neck brace but um, obviously I'm running my hydration tube through uh, the um, the shoulder piece there and then out of the box this is what it does when you're riding it's flopping around sure you can tuck it underneath or whatever the case may be um, but there's no there's no feature, there's no accommodation for the chest piece to do anything with the drinking tube. However, what it, the backpack does come with this little clip right here that's designed to slide into a nylon slot for the shoulder protection. Um, what I did was I took that off. I took 3M tape, quality 3M tape, and the magnet piece, again, that comes with the backpack, it's specifically for the backpack, and I put it on the chest piece. This actually works perfectly. I have not lost this piece, this 3M tape's holding very, very well because this is a hard plastic. And then the magnet tube is adjustable and it just stays right there. I have not had any, any issues at all with that design. In fact, I would love for Zach Speed to um, put an, a rivet attachment in there or maybe supply some sort of built-in magnet or something to their molded piece, which would be really good. So I wouldn't have to, uh, to modify it. But those are my only gripes, guys. Pretty small gripes, really, overall. I'm extremely happy uh, with the Zack Speed uh, Recon and Chest Protector combo. Uh, and, you know, if I may end up getting the vest in the future or the tool belt. Um, their, their products are worth worth the price. This is a $221.95, I think it was, from Rocky Mountain. Um, but yeah, overall, great design with tons of options. Again, if I need a bigger bag, I could always get the step up, which is the Dakar, and then my chest protector would connect right to that. So, very cool overall. I uh, hope this was informative. You guys have a fantastic week. Get out there and ride, enjoy some of this blue sky. If it's not raining where you're at, and uh, have a good one. This is Accelerate, signing off.